So welcome to this video. Austin here just killed off another live room for an hour and a half on Zoom with the whole academy. It's great. If you want to get all of it next week, we'll be doing two or three hours a day. Go underneath. Really important time in the moment because you've got market sentiment flying all over the place. Uh, particularly what you've seen um, as of late is your dollar index rise. Okay, that's because of the hawkish tone out the uh, Fed. You even had Fed's Collins today speak of, uh, you know, not rolling out a further hike, which is just crazy because you've got all sorts of memes going on on the internet about six, six cuts that were supposed to happen. And now we're looking at hikes. Um, it's bizarre. Anyhow, focus is gold. Gold's going up, 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 up and away. Anyone who has zero risk plans um, or is very, uh, you know, careless in their approach is, is just going to get screwed on this, uh, this asset. You've got to be so careful. And I said this as soon as it made its all-time high. I said, look, just be very careful. You've got to space things out, drop your size massively. Otherwise, you just won't be able to withstand the harsh, the harsh swing in the market. Now, if you've done that, you would be at this point here and you wouldn't be extremely worried. You might have hedged along the way. You, you know, you may have dropped your size uh, considerably. So that swing is not going to affect you. And um, if you were someone using a stop loss, I mean, you probably would have got ruined because you're shorting into that positive market sentiment for gold. At the moment, unfortunately, you've got lots of war fears, which is just in the last hour or two, completely shoved it even higher and higher and higher. Um, so. It's really important if you had it short, like we do, to use these areas to hedge. There's so many points where you could hedge, you know, since the start of April even. Um, going on from yesterday, since you had further rhetoric out the ECB, and now the Fed, and now these war, um, you know, fears, you've gone up, uh, you know, almost $100 in a row in a day. It's, it's incredible. I mean, the only thing you can really say is pushing it up right now is the is the war fears and not uh, particularly much else that's clear. So even on lower time frames, you have minuscule hedge amounts. It just depends on your equity size, whether you can take those, because obviously there's a min size um, on gold, mostly of one micro. Um, so where would it sit now? Well, if you're someone who's wanting to short it now, let's say you don't have any positions in, or maybe you do have positions in the market, you're going to want to do it very, very, very lightly. I mean, like I said, if you've got things coming across the wires now, which are feeding that gold buying, you know, people panicking and buying, you could get to 2,500, 600, 700. There is nothing stopping gold from going higher and higher and higher and higher. OK, you've got to understand that it's not you who decides when gold stops. OK, and, you know, as as is the market. When you think something can't go any higher, it really does, and it really can. And in many cases, it can stay solvent longer than, than traders can trade it. Um, and that's despite your really high stock oscillator. Uh, if you look simply on your daily chart, I mean, there isn't an awful lot of kickback. There isn't a lot of red, is there? Um, but it has to come down at some point. We know it will come down. It's the same for other markets, you know, like you have with your SPX, finally starting to drop slightly again on those fears and economic fears as well. Um, but, you know, it's not particularly the case that you'll be right guessing whether it will fall or whether you should be short because that is going to happen. Um, it's just risk management. It's plainly risk management. So like I said, when this kind of thing happens, you don't want to short like this, okay, all these blue lines. You don't want to say, oh, we'll make them red because they're shorts. You don't want to just ram shorts in the market every five minutes because obviously your drawdown is going to explode. And you've got to understand that at some point, whether it's this year or another year, you're going to get that black swan like we're having now. You're going to get that swing against you and you're going to be in trouble. So just be very careful with that. It needs to look more like this. OK. Big spaces out, maybe 100 to 200 dollars. OK, that is fine. You know, if you can do that, you're going to be you're going to be more sustainable because there's a bigger gap between every entry. Therefore, you're not going to have this quick pickup in drawdown uh, versus if you just short it all the way all at once down here. So I would definitely consider if you need to taking some off, killing it uh, and just hedging along the way. Remember, you've got to protect your capital if you want to survive upswings like this. You really do. Um, and it's not going to fall until that that. Um, that sentiment goes. It's not going to fall until the sentiment feeding in and pushing the price up fades. And that's not going anywhere at the moment. Um, 
And if you look right now, it could even escalate over the weekend. I mean, most of it is about Iran attacking Israel. That's what's coming across the news now. So obviously, if that happens, you may find that investors just, just slam into gold and it rip roars up. Okay, it doesn't even wait for you to, to, to make another entry. It just keeps going higher and higher and higher. Now, if you think that is impossible and you think that's not going to happen, um, the best thing really you can do is just take yourself over here. Uh, 2019, you just shot straight up. There may be a better ticker we can actually go for. Um, gold on uh, the OM ticker. Uh, for example, when you had your financial crisis coming out of that, you know, you went up and up and up forever because there was there was the the sentiment was in for buying gold. People panicked, okay, and they panicked and panicked and they panicked all the way until the panic faded. But it, you know, the market still kept going up the whole time. Now, traders like us hedged along the way. We secured gains um, on the long side. Uh, you know, trading basically counter to, to our shorts. And then it's survivable because you have months where you drop. You have a whole month to hedge out profits to get rid of the losses. Um, but just know that you can go from an all-time high at 1,000 and you can double almost or you can get 90% higher. I mean, if you look where we are now, you've only gone 20% of the way. So 90% higher is going to be an awfully long way, albeit could take three years. And you would just have to work your way out of it as we do. But in short, you've got no resistance to go off. Your view, the market is just getting slammed with positive market sentiment um, for gold. Uh, basically, the bias of the demand coming in. Um, and that's going to be a big problem if you're heavy shorting. So light entries, take some off if you need to and be prepared for a move to $2,700 or beyond. I'm not saying it will happen for definite, I'm just saying it could happen. If you look before, worse things have occurred on that panic, okay? And, you know, this one as well did come off the back of an initial rise. It made, that makes it even worse. Um, you know, this one has come back off an initial rise. You can see that. So be very careful. Like I said, light entries only. Cut your size in, you know, a seventh or an eighth of normal. Space it out a lot. Um, and just be very, you know, sort of considerate with what you're doing. Thanks for watching. And of course, if you want to join us live, we cover gold all the time. Go ahead and join us. It's underneath. See you soon.